Again, combining pretty well, although Grimes had to fight a, a pretty tough battle. John Cock had the opportunity to size up what was ahead, and he pretty much made it happen for Taylor Walker there. Yeah, and that's where Linda Dunn's going to be disappointed because his team had possession of the footy. He was zoning off, and all of a sudden, a turnover, a lack of composure under pressure. His man, who was involved in the tackle and chase and pressure, then gets on the end of a little chip kick like that. Taylor Walker, as I mentioned, the last three weeks has kicked four goals. He's been their lone spearhead through the mid part of the season. He's a beautiful striker of the football. And the Crows' first goal is on the ball. In this game now, and able to get their structures right so that when Melbourne try to exit defensive 50, they're under pressure doing that. And you see there Walker involved on two occasions. And he needs to do that to get himself involved in the game first with the tackle. There it is there. His captain came in with a nice handball and John Cock with good vision over to Walker. It's a half volley and it's taken beautifully by Dangerfield. He got the handball going on to right. Right now inside 50 with a kick. Petrenko does well on the half volley. Breaks three tackles. Did it well. Good up on him. Let it go. Picked up by McKay. Gets it across. Smith really? pressures through. Look at that good vision. Got the handball over to Wright. Wright just sets it up. And thank you very much. Taylor Walker just had enough of it, I think. So Walker's kicked one. He's got 140 in his career. Make that 141. And he has his second, and they lead by 10 points to Crows. Walker started OK. Now a couple of goals. Lyndon Dunn still had... Six disposals himself, but that's it there. That's the one you're talking about. Edward was able to get through. The disposal wasn't great, but he drew a crowd, and that, that's what was important because he was able, his teammate was able then to pick up the ground ball. Wright was able to get out the back of the contest, and Walker was too smart on the lead. Time to get it out to Riley, who's been lively this quarter. Good kick in towards the hot spot, and look who's got it. Taylor Walker is just... If, if ever you wanted to play a game coming up to the finals to get your touch, this is the one for Taylor Walker. He's, he's just passed one off here. That's how easy it is. Van Burlo, the skipper, dances, sets up, and kicks the goal. Very unselfish play, wasn't it, by Taylor Walker, too? Thrown right out of the full forward union for that oh, one, Jason. Tell you what, he's manhandling James Frawley, and uh, he's just been impressive. Too strong, too big. They're using him well, and they've fallen away to a rabble in the space of five minutes at the beginning of this third quarter, Melbourne. All the things that they were good at in the first team in terms of having a crack at have slipped, uh, slipped away, and now they've made it a really long afternoon for this. Deserves a goal. Oh, good play denied on the line again. With the foot of Dowdy. Yep. Stuck the leg out. Dowdy's been super professional as... Smith chips it around to Walker. I don't think he's had a second grab at a mark all day. He's been... Oh, look at the kick. How good is that kick? Is that kick? Cracker. Look at that one. On to Cullinan. Cullinan runs in. Two bounces. Open goal. Lines him up and misses. No, he's got it. Made the umpire do a fair bit of work, but he's kicked his fourth. You have no idea. No idea how good that kick from Taylor Walker was. Off two steps. It was low and it was about 55 to 60 metres and it even carried Callan and so he had to turn and run with the footy and that gave him the breathing space to have a couple of bounces.